Yo, my guys, big up to everybody just locked in. Hit the like button, subscribe, all of that shit. Gonna do player ratings today. Very up from the Chelsea Fan TV review a little bit, but we're still going to just vent through that absolutely atrocious, disgraceful, outrageous performance. Fucking joke from first minute to last. We look like clowns out there. Absolute fucking clowns. Like, from the setup to the individual performances, even the ref, even the ref was a fucking clown. Like, we're going to crash on everybody today. Don't get it twisted. We will not leave a stone unturned today. We're not doing it. Because there was so many poor aspects from this game. I know people are going to say, oh, you never blame the players. You only talk about Poch. We're going to talk about both today. Don't worry. We're going to talk about both. Because both aspects were not good enough. But, hey, trust Poch and back the process and all of that crap. First off, we're going to start on a positive. We're going to give the shout-outs. Big up to Petrovic. Big up to Nkuku. Big up to Chukumeka. Big up to the away fans. The good ones. Other than that, everybody stunk. Everybody stunk. Awful, awful performance. From, from the setup, which was just... Play a high line against Liverpool and Darwin Nunes. Like, what the fuck is Pochettino thinking about? You absolute psychopath. You're just asking for them to create chances. They made about four chances in the first 20 minutes while we could barely get out of our own half. It was ridiculous. The setup in the midfield, again. Caicedo just left on his ones. Enzo forced further forward, again, to have minimal touches. Brilliant. Unbelievable stroke of genius by our manager who's clearly being let down by the players around him. Cool. Sure. Fucking idiots. Joke, man. And also, imagine trying to press like that and expecting anything. The most disjointed press in history. Just Gallagher running around like a Rottweiler. Easy openings throughout the midfield. Also because you pushed Enzo further forward as well, by the way. Genius. Then we give away easy-ass chances and easy-ass goals. Silva was poor. Badia Shield was poor. Chilwell was fucking outrageous. Gallagher, outrageous. But again, missed the player of the season. Fuck off. Who else? Sterling, poor. Madawaki, poor. Palmer, poor. Like, it was just shit. It was shit. Everything was crap, man. Everything was crap. We let Connor Bradley run rings around this guy. I, I ain't even heard of this brother a month ago. And he went and got two assists on a goal on our head top because Ben Chilwell don't want to mark the left-back position even though you're a fucking left-back. It's fucking ridiculous, man. All, all I ask from this coach is a semi-decent setup. And you don't even do that. Oh, fair enough. You know what? The subs weren't too bad. Your, your fucking setup reeks. And it cost us so many problems in this game. So many problems. Silva had to run the race game with Nunes every single minute. Every single time there was a transition. He ain't ever winning that. He got stripped today. Stripped. Because we played a high line. Brilliant. Fucking brilliant. Second goal, Caicedo loses the ball. Should have done better, should have done way better. He started off well and then fell off. But again, isolated, thanks to the setup. Brilliant. Chilwell, don't know what the fuck he was doing. Third goal, Badia Shield and Silva. Fourth goal, Silva and I think Badia Shield again. The pair of them just had an absolute disaster class. Absolute disaster class today. It weren't good at all. <laughs> Wasn't good at all. But big up to Nkuku and Trakumeka who came on and tried to do something. I like Mudrik. Mudrik was just straight arse cheeks. Straight arse cheeks all game. Wasn't good enough at all. Let's get into these player ratings though. First off, we're going to start off with Petrovic. <claps> big up to Petrovic. Poor guy, brother. <coughs> Did all he could to keep the scoreline decent. All he could. And it just didn't lead to anything. Didn't lead to anything. I'll, I'll give him a six. 
Just because we conceded four, I can't give him any more than that. But he did the best he could. The Sassy bullied that right back all game. Absolutely struggled against Diaz. But again, high line. Well, what are we doing? The fuck are we doing with that? Pushed him into centre back and it wasn't really that effective. I didn't really see him do too much. So, I'll give him a free. I'll give him a free. Thiago Silva. Gotta give him a two in all honesty. He, he got bullied all match. Bullied all game by Darwin Nunes. Some decent passes, some overhit passes. Not a good performance from him at all. Not a good performance from him at all. He absolutely struggled. But again, I have to put high line tax. Gotta put high line tax. Baddy Ashil, he had his worst game in a Chelsea shirt. Like, I know he's not been great since his return. I, I want to say part of it's due to structure, but like there's been so many individual mistakes from him as well. I can't even really say that. He's just he's not been good since his return. And it's a shame because he was very, very composed over the first year for us. But like obviously we ain't gonna write him off. Hopefully he can turn things around and this is just a bad run of form. But like it's it's not been looking good so far. It really hasn't been looking good. I gotta give him a one. Like straight up, I gotta give him a one. He don't deserve anything more than that. Now I would have said zero. But zero is for the guy next, 21 average, Ben Chilwell. He's getting a straight zero. Straight zero. What did you do other than be a hologram for 45 minutes? You were useless. Absolutely atrocious, dog crap, useless. Every single adjective under the sun, you sucked. Defensively and offensively. The only thing that was offensive was watching that performance. Zero. Enzo, in terms of all the starters, could argue he was our best outfield player, but he also had minimal touches. I just like when he was on the ball, he actually tried to release it pretty quickly. Don't really remember him being embarrassed defensively. There was like one or two iffy passes. That's about it. It's just a shame we treat him like McTominay. Big up Scott. Um, four. Four, I guess. I, I don't think I can give anybody except the subs higher than a four. Or Petrovic. So yeah, I'd say four for him. Gallagher, you're getting a one. You're fucking hideous. This guy literally wastes so much time in possession. It's ridiculous. Sterling was in a brilliant position at the end of the first half. He looks at him, turns the other way. He is an idiot. Absolute idiot in possession. Just runs around and that's it. But again, some wankers will sit here and call him player of the season. Fucking fools. All of you. Straight up. One. You guess a one. Why am I even giving him a one? No, you're getting a zero. Fuck off. You're getting a zero. Um, Caicedo. Decent start. He lost the ball for the second goal. Seemed to struggle with being isolated at the six. That's about it. I I'd say three. I'd say three. Um... Palmer, no impact at all. Had to drop deep all the time. And like, this is why I get what Scott was saying earlier about how we need Broyer at, at least as some sort of focal point. And I get it. You get Palmer more creative. You get him to drop deeper without it just ruining our attack. But he didn't really do much. So I, I gotta give him a two. He's gotta get a two. Sterling, nothing type at all. Poor in possession, poor out of possession. Two. Madueke. Ineffective on and off the ball. Another two. They got, they're all getting twos. The whole attack's just getting twos. Poch. <coughs> what am I going to give Poch? I think I might give Poch a two. Yeah, I'll give him two. Just just for Nkuku and Chucky Mecca. And for actually taking Gallagher and, Stur and Chilwell off at half time. I didn't expect that. Yeah, two. Post-match press conferences arguably could take it down, but it's already low enough anyway due to his setup. So he's getting a two and he can hold that. Mudrick, you're getting a one. You did nothing. Um, Nkuku and Chukumeka can have sixes. They came on. They actually impacted things a little bit. It's just a shame it was too little too late. Pair of them have to start next match. Have to start. Or at least Chukumeka. If you want to bring Nkuku back a bit slowly, you go and do that. I don't mind. But Jackson has to go in. Chukumeka has to go. I swear, if I see that fucking Rottweiler in the starting lineup, 
I don't even know what I'm going to do, but I know I'm going to see that prick. I know I'm going to see him in the lineup again. Gusto, free. I don't really recall him doing too much. And we stink. We stink. Another opportunity to go above Manchester United in the bin. In the fucking bin. Big up, everybody. Like, subscribe. Up the Chelsea. Potch out.